everyone and welcome back to my channel turn ups to tangerines and today we are going to be talking about the evergreen shop here on the wisconsin series wisconsin series is something i started oh last december and every day in december i feature a different place or a different food product product that is made um exclusively or is made in wisconsin and today I'm going to be talking about, uh, it's called the Evergreen Shop, and it's a, a store, an Amish, or little shop, I guess, Amish store, and it is really a cute little place inside. It's small, but I think they, they're planning on uh, expanding it a little bit. They carry all bulk food products, and one of my favorite bulk food things is um, these, uh, cinnamon and honey graham crackers. I don't know why I just started eating these at my daughter's house one day and I just love them. So every time I go to the um, bulk food store, I always pick up some of these and they're really, really, really good with uh, Nutella dip, which I will be featuring on my YouTube channel soon. And then I've been meaning to buy this. I have been wanting to buy this. The, this is just like, a, I think there's two dozen in here. I'm not positive. I've never opened it up. But this is um, frozen cookie dough. And it says you just uh, thaw them and bake them. And you thaw them for about 20 minutes. And then you bake it at uh, 350 to 375 degrees, it says here on the package, depending, I suppose, how your oven is. And um, <clears throat> it's, as you can see, it's like $8 for... I, I, I'm assuming there's two dozen in here. I don't know. But the thing of it is, is for my husband and I, and it's just the two of us, and for us, you know, sometimes I have several recipes for cookies, and I mean, it makes a ton of cookies. Now, I love cookies. I'll eat cookies until, you know, dozen. I can sit down and easily eat a dozen of cookies. So that's a reason why I like buying this small package here because I don't need to be eating a dozen of cookies anytime. And uh, so this kind of limits my intake on the cookies. But it's a cute little store inside. They have um, soft serve ice cream. They have uh, a huge variety of just baking flours and sugars and um, like gluten-free things coffee they have, tea they sell, um, baked goods from pies to breads, buns, they even have Kringles in there, um, what else? Just a lot of different, a large variety of different things. They have one whole section of just, you know, bulk candy, um, that my, or my granddaughter was just thrilled with that. And, um, you know, just just different things that you might not be able to find other places. They actually have like a, a section for like, um, oh, gluten-free, like pancake mix, muffin mix, things like that. Um, I've been looking for a nice uh, buckwheat uh, pancake mix, and I did pick one up there, and I'm hoping to try that real soon. I have never, you know tried it before. I love buckwheat flavor anyway, and, and especially in a pancake. So that's why I thought I'd try that. And, um, oh, and then they also have in the back, they have a little deli where you can go and you can buy, um, they'll slice cheese for you and different types of meat, different types of cheeses. They have a monster cheese is what we like to buy. Oh, Oh, Swiss cheese, you name it. And they have um, like a really nice, uh, oh, my husband said it was really, really good. Like a German style um, uh, bologna that he said is really, really good. We always get the turkey and um, I've had bought, we bought the corned beef. And they're really inexpensive considering, I mean, if you go to the deli now and, or, you know, pick up a, uh, half a pound of roast beef, you know, you're going to be paying a lot of money for that. And I think they're, 
Oh, I think the roast beef was on sale when we bought it for like four ninety nine a pound, and that now that that's cheap. I mean, I've seen it for ten ninety nine at the local Piggly Wiggly. So anyway, we are going to make a batch of these cookies today and see how they turn out. But I just got this out of the. I just found this. I dug it out here. And this is old-fashioned buckwheat pancake mix. And it's from the New Hope Mills. And I think they're located in New York here, I think. But this is what it looks like. And um, this was like five bucks for that. And I didn't think that was too bad because there's uh, 32 ounces. And that's a lot of pancake mix just for my husband and I. But another thing that I liked about it, too, is I turned when I checked the back about it, um, or turned it over and checked the back, um, they also have a recipe on the back, or I guess you got to go to the newholdmills.com that you use as pancake mix to make molasses cookies. And I thought, well, hey, that would be good. So, uh, you know, two birds with one stone here. So that's this that I bought there. So now we are going to get our cookies here on our sheet. And like I said, I'm only going to make a dozen because I'm not going to sit in eat them all. So, ooh, they look good. And then you just set them on like you normally would. I made these my own, but you know, I've froze my own before, but I thought, well, let's give them a try here. And I'm just gonna, one, two, three, four, and they said leave room for spreading, so five, six. So we'll do six at a time here. And I will be back with some cookies. So I hope you stick around for that. Our oatmeal raisin cookies are out of the oven that we purchased at the Evergreen Shop, which is a little small Amish shop located, uh, let me give you the directions here. It's a bulk food store called the Evergreen Shop and Bakery. And it's a located on Highway 64, and it's called Branch, Wisconsin. And it's actually on, we go that way when we go to take 64, um, I, what is that, West, I would imagine, 64 West when we go to Anigo, Wisconsin. And you go right past it. It's, uh, oh, it's not by Elton, it's not by Polar, I don't think. If that makes sense. <laughs> a little city called Polar and a little city called Elton. And um, if you stay on 64, uh, turn on, whoop, we go on 32 to 64 west to Antigo. You will drive right past it. You can't miss it. So here we go. These are a dozen of our pre-baked cookies that you saw and bake and of course I have to try one because that's just the way it is and here we go and these are oatmeal raisin mm. 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 they're very 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 good tender nice mm. I only made a dozen cookies so I don't have to worry about sharing because I can eat them all if I really want to. <laughs> but it's nice for my husband and I. So, if you get a chance to get on Highway 64 going to Anigo, Wisconsin, stop by the Evergreen Shop and uh, take a look around. Thank you for stopping by Wisconsin, the Wisconsin series today. And stop back to Turnips to Tangerines here on my YouTube channel or you can visit me at www.turnupstotangerines.com. That is my blog. And you have yourself a good day. And don't forget to make yourself some cookies. Life's always better with a few cookies. And it is. See you soon. Bye-bye.